Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm in Hallandale, Florida. I'm at the Gulfstream Park Horse Track and Casino. I'm going to show you all around, show you a day at the park. You'll see what it's like. See if you want to go. So here we are. We are at Gulfstream. This is a racetrack and a casino. First thing you're going to see in this gorgeous Pegasus. It's large and it stands out and it's worth going to just view the Pegasus if you like to look at uh, great structures. So when you go in, you'll see it and you can see the Pegasus. It looks like it's killing a dragon or something. Really, really cool. And I think you can park and walk around if you want. But then you're going to go into the parking lot and there's plenty of parking and it was no cost to park unless you want valet. So then you're going to park and you're going to walk over here. Now on the right is a lot of different stores and people will go shopping in them. They don't care about the gambling at all, but we are going to the Gulfstream. So the first thing you'll notice is you go out here and you'll notice the paddock. Now it is closed over here because they were repairing it. So the horses usually would walk around uh, and you can see and view them before the race but they didn't have that today. So I'm gonna take a little walk around them. This is a beautiful park. There's a lot of different restaurants all around the area. You can sit and watch the races in the restaurants if you want. Some are expensive. We tried to get into the 10 Palms, which we had been in before, and it was $40 per person, so we opted not to this time. And we ate at one of the other restaurants, and they were all very nice. And there's also small little concessions inside if you prefer that. Now, you can see this area is not too busy because we started off early and over there would be a casino, but we'll show you that after. There's some of the little restaurants you can sit outside and watch the horses. Also, here is the second floor, because there's two floors, and you can go on either one, and you can watch them walk around. Now, that's not where they're going to race. We're going to show you the racetrack as well. I just wanted to show you the outside and the little restaurants. It is such a pretty park. Now, these are the areas you're going to bet in. You can go inside and bet through a person, or you can bet through these machines makes it a lot easier and faster. It's up to you. Now, this is where we did get the chance to see the horses before the race. They'll walk around over here because they couldn't walk in the other area. It's always fun to look at the horses, and a lot of times you can see if you think they're overweight or if they have a limp. or eh, Usually you can't tell anything because they always are in good condition when they race. But it's always fun to go here and to look. Now here is the track. After they come from that area, they will walk on the track. And it's a pretty, pretty track. I'm gonna show you a little bit more, but it's nice to look at the horses and they're going to the area where they're going to take off. Now, uh, they take off from different areas in different races and inside and out. Now these are the grandstands and these are some of the places if you wanna sit outside. It's hot in Florida, so you don't always want to, but if you want to, you can sit outside, sit in one of those areas and watch the race. I think it might cost a little bit extra. I'm not positive about outside, they do inside. Now here we are, they just took off from this race and I know it's hard to see at this point because there they are, uh, they're running. I'm gonna show you this whole race and we'll be back. And here is the finish. I'm going to do this in slow motion so you can see it well. Over here is the start of another race. They're using the inside track. It's grass track.
also at the track, there's a lot of things to look at. I love looking at the colors of the different stables and they have some of those on the wall. This is an inside part near the grandstand. And over here on the right, you can see if you want to bet through people, you don't want to go to the machines. There's also places to sit and they show a lot of tracks. A lot of people are betting on aqueduct and other tracks as well. You have to pay a little bit more to sit there. Uh, I don't know why you can usually sit near the restaurants and you can see the little tiny restaurants over here. Oh, it's good if you want to get hamburgers, hot dogs, there's a stir fry place, stuff to drink. And this is where I showed you earlier. It's a little bit more crowded now. And you can see the people betting on the machines on the right hand side. And there are big screen TVs throughout the place. So you can find your place, a nice place to sit. Now this is inside the casino. You can sit over here as well. Uh, if you want to play some casino games, there's some slots, blackjack, craps, a few different things. This is the upstairs one. There's two different casinos upstairs and downstairs, and they open around noon. So this is the Gulf Stream. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a big thumbs up. Watch all our Florida videos. Thanks again. It's Rockin' Robin.